So today the question that uh, I want to raise up and talk about is what does a designer do? Uh, if you're here probably, I guess you're interested in becoming a designer. Right? And so the question is, what is design? What, what does a designer do? And there are many roles that a designer can actually pick up. They're called graphic designers. They're called communication designers. Um, maybe with some experience after that, they become brand strategists. To become experienced designers or art directors. But what does it all mean? Right. For Orita Sinclair, our course is in communication design. And a communication designer, what they do is they use visual, that means your pictures, and they use words. All right. And they combine these things to help people understand all right, something about a product. That means maybe you want to sell something. You want to sell the, the microphone that I'm holding. All right. The microphone that I'm holding, you want to sell that here. You want to sell uh, services, like let's say a bank, or insurance, or even a course that you want to study. All right? And of course the other thing would be information. You want to tell people something, some facts, some news, or some uh, interesting, uh, interesting knowledge. Okay? So communication designers, one of the things that they do is uh, to create science for a place. All right? now, Science can be very boring. It can be one piece of paper and then text. Black text, white paper. That's still a sign. All right? But it doesn't excite people. So you tell people about the space. You help them to find their way. Over here, you have an office building. And then you tell them, OK, what floor are you on? 28 floor. If you go up, it's 29. If you go down, it's 27. Of course, you would know that. If you, if you see that on 28, you know up is 29, down is 27. But in this way, they make it fun. All right, and then they also tell you, okay, on the different levels up and down, maybe you're looking for a meeting room and the name is Picasso. All right, and then you're on the wrong level because that's 27 one for that. Okay, in the other example over here, you see it's called an arts precinct. So arts precinct, then you want creativity, vibrant, very fun, exciting, and that's why you see the, the signs to tell people where to go. That's very different also, very bright yellow color. All right. Uh, Soft curves, all right? And all these things are communication. You, you choose this design. Okay? Another thing that you can do is you sell products. All right? Think of the, the different things that you buy. Maybe when you buy an iPhone and the box that it's in, uh, you, only, you only see one Apple logo, but yet you know what is inside already. Straight away, you know what is inside. So for this, these are actually uh, tags, the, the card to sell something. What do you all think this is? What is it trying to sell? Sorry? The cookies. Close is good because you, you think something related to food. Because the way you see the design, it's very um, cute, it's very enticing. All right, so you think, yeah, it's something that I can eat. All right? So you see the different the designs here. Who do you think they're trying to sell to? Kids, definitely. Cute animals. Now, the answer to the question of what they're trying to sell is this. Oranges. All right, and so when you, when you know that's orange, then you see why the design is like that. Everything starts with an orange. All right, and then they add on different shapes, and then you have goats, you have elephants, you have panda bears and, and uh, monkeys and all that, but you can still see the orange. There. Another important role that a communication designer has is to give people information about something. So these are posters for performances in the theatre. Alright, so you see uh, Phantom of the Opera, Romeo and Juliet, and this play called Addiction. What is similar to all of them? When you look at them, you'll know that they're from the same place. Right? Why? Because of this thing that appears. Right? In each, in each poster, you see the shape being repeated many, many times. Over here, over here, over here, the window, and then even the shape of uh, Juliet in the window. But even more than that, when you zoom in, what do you see? You see the shape appear here. And you see the shape appear here. 
Alright, and that's all part of branding. Alright, that shape is part of the identity. So that maybe from afar you know, oh, this is from the Bridge Theatre. And maybe I'll be interested to go and see. So why do we need designers? Alright, it's a very human uh, job to do. Alright, very human role because you make the lives of the users, all of us, better. Why? You make it clearer and more enjoyable. Alright, I was sharing with uh, my friends about AI. You have, you have heard about AI and all the different tools. Um, and now people will start to put up on Twitter, guess which one. One is uh, generated by AI, one is a real photo. Alright, and so as designers, we all have to think about, okay, so if AI is there and it's very powerful, will it take over the job of, an, of a designer? The answer is no, because a designer is creative. The designer is a person who can uh, is sensitive to what other people are feeling, right? and then you can think of a solution to what you need to design. Okay? But how can you become a designer, especially a bold and imaginative one, where your designs will actually stand out from the crowd? It's not going to be the black words or white paper, normal signage. Do you think you can learn from YouTube? Do you think you can learn from Google? Or Google Library and read books? You can learn a bit, a bit of knowledge, fundamentals, but unfortunately, it's not going to make you a full designer. Alright, so then, what takes after that? And that's why one solution is this, study or communication design at Orita Sinclair. And this is a three-year international degree program. Alright. We have a curriculum, and the course is future ready. That means you will be learning things that you will be able to use. In, when you go out to the working world. All right? Sometimes uh, things change very fast nowadays. All right? You learn in school and then when you step out into the working world, you discover that whatever you learn in school actually is outdated already. You need to go and upgrade yourself. So ours, we're looking a few years into the future, what is needed and what would be uh, important skills for our designers to have. It's hands-on learning. All right? we, don't have, uh, we don't have exams in a room where you sit down and, and answer questions on paper. Everything is project-based. Okay. You have mentorship and guidance from our lecturers, our prof uh, professionals who are teaching you in the class. All right. And you also have a lot of pathways to success. Our, our graduates all have very high uh, employment rates, all right, both in Singapore and then back in their home countries. Many of them also go overseas to universities. So if you choose to sign up for the program, you actually enjoy a lot of flexibility and control over your future. Why do I say that? We are launching a program where you spend your first six months in Myanmar. You study with AES Myanmar. AES Myanmar. All right? And then after that, you transfer over to Singapore to do another six months in Orita Sinclair. Okay? What this means is that you actually see a lot of cost savings, both in, uh, in the program itself and then also in cost of living uh, when you, you have to go overseas and study and pay for rent, uh, rental and food and all that, all right? So that's that, and then, so after that, six months, six months, after one year, you can actually choose to stop. You graduate, you're confident, you can work, go out and work, okay? Or you can choose, if you want to further your studies, you can actually choose to go to the UK, right, with our university partners, University of Chester, University of Derby, to complete a Bachelor of Arts in another two years. So you get two awards in one year. The first year you actually you get a foundation diploma and you get a diploma, both awarded by Orita Sinclair, all right, in collaboration with PES Myanmar. And you also earn an internationally recognized degree from the UK. Alright, so in three years you actually have three certificates under that degree. And what will you learn when you come to Singapore and when you enroll in this program, not just in Singapore but in Myanmar? You learn about design fundamentals, color theory, layout. Uh, designing how images are actually created with just dots. You learn about typography. Remember what I said just now, words on the sign. Black words on a white sign can also be very meaningful. If you look at Apple advertisements, some of them are black words on a white sign. But they actually are very meaningful, they are very attractive. Why? Sometimes it's because of typography. The font that you use, the shape of the words. You learn how to use Adobe Photoshop, all right? So 
you know, you take photos separately of a man, you take photos of the, of the caps, and then this is New York City, and then you combine everything together, make it believable. Or you use Illustrator to draw things like this. You learn about photography. This, is, this, is, uh, this photo is taken of, by one of my students in Singapore, Singapore skyline. And print uh, image making, which you know you do silk screen printing, uh, different types of techniques, very hands-on working with paint. We do that also. We do motion graphics, all right, a bit of animation. You're not doing like a Disney cartoon, but very small animations like this to make things fun, like all your uh, on your phone when you send stickers, that kind of motion, uh, those are motion graphics. You learn about layout design. Layout design maybe in magazine, flyer, uh, brochures, or even online, even website. So that it's easy to read, people will be very comfortable reading a long article. Nowadays we are all very um, very impatient, right? We don't have a lot of time to go and sit down and read through a long uh, report or newspaper article. Right, so layout helps that a lot. You learn about packaging. Right, packaging is everywhere. When you go to your supermarket, everything is in packaging. Why would you decide to buy one brand of milk over another? One brand of soap over another? It has a lot to do with the packaging. How you actually, uh, the impression that you give to others. Right? So, uh, over here, this product is actually made from cricket. You know what crickets are? Like grasshopper? So, in, you know, I, I learned today, in Myanmar you eat that. Uh, in Thailand they also eat that. But in Western countries, in Europe and all that, they, they will not like to eat that. Right? For them it's, 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 it's that kind of feeling. In Singapore also recently I tried, I, I, I also found it very hard to swallow it. All right? But because it's very environmentally friendly, all right, they're trying to promote eating of insects. So how do you make how do you make someone attracted to a, something that is insect based? So this is one design. But you see they make a cartoon of the cricket. Right? And then the, the words there are small giants. Why? Because the, it's very small but very nutritious. Right? And then the colours and all that all come together to make a very attractive product. Okay? Of course sometimes you don't want to use bright colours because if it's a luxury product, then you use a bit more uh, simple, plain colours. Right, to give that sense of it's, it's prestigious. Right, so for example, this one is, you know the camera brand Leica? It's a German camera brand, very, very uh, extensive. Right, and, it's, uh, and they have a celebration with Raffles Hotel, one of the famous oldest hotels in Singapore. So our students did a project where they designed a packaging for that. We also learned about digital interface design, so website design and mobile app design. Right, how to lay everything out in such a way where it's easy for people to see. Some websites you go to, you, you, you go to the, the first page and then you don't know where to find what you need to find. Whether you have different products or the background of it, it is hard. So website design is very important. And finally, very importantly, we have brand design. All right. When you enter the industry as a graphic designer or communication designer, you work on smaller projects. People may ask you just to Simple things like um, designing a logo for a cafe, right? or designing an icon, app icon, one small thing. But as you progress and you get the experience, then you'll be designing brands, the entire brand. So for example, you think like, um, again we use Apple, Apple products. So you design the entire brand that means from maybe the name cards, to the logo, to how the shop looks like, uh, advertisement, social media. All these things have to be uh, very consistent. Right? If you have, if your website, you know, Apple website is white and black uh, mainly, and then suddenly on the mobile website when you go on your phone, it becomes an uh, orange color, green color. Everybody will be wondering, did I go to the wrong website? All right, because it doesn't look alike. Right? So branding is very important. Brand consistency is very important, and that's uh, kind of pretty much what we teach uh, for this program. Uh, it's, it's considered the first year of a degree program, but it's actually a lot more than that because it's very intensive. And that's why a lot of our graduates, uh, a lot of the people who complete the first year, they are very, very confident that they can go out and work. And they do, and they, 
they find that they, they are very successful. So, in short, become a bold and imaginative designer with us at Orita Secret. And there are also scholarships available for uh, young designers to be. Alright, and so now the question you should ask yourself is do you have what it takes all right, to be a bold and imaginative designer? All right, if you are, and you fulfill this criteria, all right, completed your high school diploma, you pass our English language test, you have uh, some design portfolio that you have done. Doesn't need to be professional, all right, because you have not studied it before, so we wouldn't expect it to be professional. And then you write a personal essay about why you would want to study design, all right, and then you have an interview with us, all right, and we will uh, consider your suitability for a study. Okay. So, I encourage you to be bold and imaginative, not just in design, but with your choices in life. Thank you very much. <laughs>